What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with one of the coolest Ultra Beasts in the game. We are rocking out with a Buzzswole team that also features another great fighting type Blaziken and Life Orbia Belt. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to join the Jeans community. Two things that I got to tell you guys before we actually get started with today's team preview. One, I just want to give a huge shout out to my boy Joshua for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. Thank you so much for leaving it. I cannot wait to use it. Grab some wins with it. If you guys want to leave me rental codes, leave them in my Twitter DM or not DMs. Just tweet at me or DM it to me on my Twitter page. Link is down in the description below. Jeans YouTube over on Twitter. Like I said, link down in the description below. Click it. Follow that. Tweet at me. DM me. However you want to get these rental teams to me, send them over on Twitter. And then there's a high chance I'll use them. But I do look at everybody's teams that, it, that are sent in. Like I said, huge shout out to Joshua. Second thing I want to go over is the giveaway that I already mentioned. Me and SCG Short Circuit Gaming are teaming up to bring you guys a $20 eShop gift card giveaway. So if you guys are interested in that, there will be like a little card on the screen where you guys can click. It'll bring you to the link of the giveaway with all the rules and all that. Or you can go down the link in the description below or head over to Twitter because if you want to enter, there's entryways over on Twitter too. So I tweeted about it. There's a link down in the description below. Like I said, there will be a card with a link here on how to enter and all that good stuff. You can enter multiple times by doing various different tasks like following me here, uh, following SCG, following my Twitter, all that different stuff. It's all in the link in the description below. But definitely go check it out if you guys are interested in a $20 eShop gift card giveaway. But uh, let's get started here into, with today's team preview. Start off with the one and only Buzz Rule. Such a cool Pokemon. Haven't used him in a while. He's got the Beast Boost ability. Alongside with the Assault Vest, Close Combat for Stab, High Horsepower for Coverage, Leech Life for Stab, and then we got Bounce for our max airstream coverage move right next to him is going to be speed boost blaziken with a focus hash definitely the best item for a speed boost blaziken we're rocking flare blitz close combat both for stab the tech to work as a protect and brave bird for our lonesome coverage move middle left is going to be palkia over here palkia is just such a beast i absolutely love this restriction it's super super strong and great in the dynamax game we got Telepathy, Lustrous Orb as its item, that is the Palkia item, and then we got Spatial Mind, Hydro Pump, Earth Power, and Trick Room, which is a great solid moveset for any Palkia. Right next to him is going to be Life Orb Yvelta. Life Orb Yvelta has just been buzzing as recently. It's just so good, really good in Dynamax form, and just does a crazy amount of damage. We got Dark Aurora, alongside with the Life Orb, like I've been mentioning, then Oblivion Wing for Stab and HP Recovery, Foul Play for Stab and big damage on uh, big physical attackers, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, and Protect. Bottom left hand corner is the one and only Lando over here with that Intimidate ability alongside with the Choice Scarf as item. So this one's going to be fun to use. We got Bulldoze, we got EQ, U-Turn, and then last but not least, we got Rock Tomb for a nice little coverage move. Final Pokemon on the squad is one of my favorite support mods ever. It's going to be Prankster Light Clay Grimms with both Light Screen and Reflect. Gotta love it. It just makes your team so much more bulkier having, a, having these screens. And then giving it to Light Clay makes the screens last an extra three turns. That's just crazy. It is just crazy. We also have Fake Out and Foul Play for his other two moves. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen. Let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Buzz Swole Series 12 team. We're hopping into our first battle, and you guys know battle number ones has been real rough for you. I have not been able to win a battle number one in so long. I can't even remember, but we're looking to change the curse here now, but it is going to be tough. It's going to be tough. We're going up against a top tier Shadow or Ice Rider Calyrex Trick Room team with Palkia, Incineroar, Amoongus, Tapu Fini, and Glass Duck Porygon 2. Which leads me to want to lead like a Buzzswole or even like Blaziken just to close combat and take out the duck if he does lead the duck. But I think Bla- Ooh, who would be better? I think Blaziken would be a bit better over Buzzswole because we can take out the duck or if he goes into Moogus, we can go for the Flare Blitz in that slot. I do like it. So I'm going to go Blaziken. I'm going to go Grimstar on turn one just, just to set up screens or I could go Yveltal. Yveltal is not a bad lead here. I could say screw the screens and go into Yveltal and Blaziken and kind of roll from there. Or I can go into Palkia. Can I, can I counter Trick Room with Palkia? Don't I have Trick Room on this thing? I do. I do. You know, we're gonna go try to counter up Trick Room with this. We're gonna roll in with these guys. You dig that. I do dig that. Bring Yvelta in the back end, and then last but not least, do we go Lando with the choice? Lando with the choice could be solid, or we can double down with our with our Buzz Swole. With our fighting. But I'm kind of leaning to, I don't know. I'm gonna start up. I'm gonna go Buzz Swole. We're gonna go Hyper Offense here. We're gonna look to rip up. We're gonna look to rip up here. It's gonna be my lead. That's gonna be my lead. If he wants to go trick room, I'm gonna counter up trick room turn one. Just try to rip up some big damage. That's gonna be my play all day. That is gonna be my play all day. Let's see who he leads and let's see who he goes into. We do have the trick room counter. We do have the trick room counter by we have the protector. It's trick room. Let's see what he does. Let's see his play. He's gonna end up going into glass duck, maybe? Amoongus and glass duck. So I'm gonna pop a trick room, I'm gonna pop a flare blitz. That's my play all day. Flare blitz into trick room. Flare Blitz into Trick Room. 
100%. Layer Blitz. Trick Room. Because I'm predicting the Rage Powder, he going for Trick Room, and then I can counter his Trick Room with my Trick Room. That's going to be my play all day. All day. I swear, yo, if he doesn't go into a Trick Room, I'll cry. I'll cry. Yeah, there's some Rage Powder. He's definitely going Rage Powder Trick Room, right? This could be a solid turn for us. Flare Blitz can do some big old damage. Some big old damage. And we're hoping it can actually take out Amoebus. It does. It gets rid of Amoebus. That is huge. So we're hoping that he's going for Trick Room, right? We're hoping he's going for Trick Room. I take some crazy recoil damage. Trick Room, I'm going to pop. And we're going to hope that he cancels out Trick Room with Dodge. Right? <laughs> Come on. Cancel out Trick Room, Trick Room. Bang, bang, bang. Run it up, baby. Great first turn from your boy, Jeans. Great first turn from your boy, Jeans. Now I can close combat. I can straight up close combat into the duck. Get off some big damage. And I can Dynamax Palkia. Dynamax Palkia could be a big call here. Could be a big, big call. If he goes on Ice Rider Calyx, I'm doubling down into the duck. Right? He goes on top of Finny. So Finny's going to come out here. Finny Finn is coming out here. I'm doubling down into the duck. We're not allowing him to pop Trick Room. That should be illegal. We're not going to allow it. We'll not stand here and allow that. we we'll close combat right into the duck. I'm going to Dynamax. I'm going to Quake. This should be enough to take out the duck. So I can get a special defense boost here, and I can deal some big old duck damage. Big old duck damage with a close combat. So, yo, what a first turn from us. What a great call. Making the big read. He led the Amoongus alongside with that uh that duck. And everything worked out perfectly, because Flare Blitz took it out in one shot. That's exactly why I led the Blaze Cannon. I wasn't going to lead the Buzz Wall, but I was just like, no. Nah, if he goes into Amoongus, we can roll out with that shot. Which was gorgeous. Which is gorgeous. Everything worked out perfectly. Let's see what he does here. He's not even going to die next. We're going to close combat, deal some big old damage onto the duck. Quake should be able to finish this. So that's a huge turn, yo. Blaziken coming in hot, baby. Blaziken is not playing around. Lazy Blaze is not playing around. We're going to max Quake. This should be able to take out the duck. And more importantly, we get the special defense boost, which is going to work wonders for my Palkia. I don't think it really does too much for our uh, for our Blaziken, considering he is minus one on special defense. Or well, now he's even. Now he's even, but still. I think Topic Finish just takes him out. So we go. Battle number one curse might be coming to an end here. Your boy is buzzing. Your boy's buzzing. He's going to end up going for a Scald. You can take out Blaziken all day now. He did exactly what we needed him to. We brought him in there for close combats on the Duck and Flare Blitz on the Moongus, and that's exactly what he did. Both of them doing some big damage, getting some KOs. I love it. But from here, we can bring out Buzzswole, dude. Do I bring out Buzzswole, or do I or do I, or do I go to Safe Play? I'm going to bring out Buzzswole. Safe Play would be Yvelta. If I'm looking, if I, if I had like money on the line, or this was like my career on the line, I would obviously go like Yvelta. But I'm rolling Buzzswole, yo. We're here to have some fun. We're here to have some fun. He's probably going to Dynamax uh, Calyrex. That's probably going to be his play, but... It is what it is. We might have to double down into Calyrex. Just in case he wants to pop Trick Room. Because that's like our only problem. Leech Life could come out here. Yeah, we're going to Leech Life. Leech Life, and we're just going to Worm one. We're doubling down into Calyrex. If he protects, he protects. That's totally fine. But yeah, he's definitely going to Dynamax Calyrex. So we're going to want to go after this, dude. Buzz Swole out and about, baby. We love it. We love it. Fairy move could do me dirty, but... uh. Bus holes out and about it. He came to play today. Bus hole came to play. Look at his little eyes. His eyes and his little, what is that? His little, is that, is that a mouth for an insect? That long thing. I think it's called something else. He has the antennas. I guess that's his mouth. It's like a little mosquito mouth. <laughs> I love it. He's going to end up Dynamax. And I think this is your, uh, Cali. I think he's going to Dynamax Calyrex, right? I'm totally fine with it. As long as he doesn't guard. We can get a, mi we can get a minus one here, which is huge. And Leech Life can definitely deal a decent amount of damage, but I think he just takes out my, uh, my Buzz Wall and goes, goes back to even, right? I mean, I know Dragon Moves are half damage here due to the, uh, the terrain, but still, I just wanted to get this attack drop. I think the attack drop is really, really big onto this thing. So yeah, we'll get the attack drop, we'll go from there, and hopefully Leech Life comes out before him. Yes, sir, Leech Life. Yeah, my boy Buzz Wall doing some work. Ripping up some damage. He's going to end up going for Nature's Madness. Okay. That might take me out. Actually, doesn't that half my damage? Half my health? What's it do? Yeah, halves me. So he halves me. How dare you? And he's just going to go for Hailstorm. And is he taking out Buzzy? I mean, you can take out Buzzwell. No, he's going to go after Palkia. I'm cool with that. Wow. Wait, was that a crit? What was that? No battery? What do you mean? Yeah, of course he gets a crit. Of course this boy gets a crit, but you guys know I keep it on me at all times. I don't play around. We're going we to rip up here. Of course he gets a crit, dude, as he's minus one. That's, that's a little rough for me. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. That is rough news. That is rough news. That's definitely rough news. Can't believe that. Can't believe that. But we're gonna leech life to get some more HP back. And 
I think I just geyser at this point. Change up the weather and get off as much as I possibly can on the Cali. That's so rough. I can't believe that. I can't believe you just got a crit on me. That definitely does me dirty. I, again, I do have Yvelta in the back end, but uh, I could get ripped. This battle's actually a lot closer than I thought it would be. Because he got that crit. Like, that crit really just did me dirty there. It really just did me dirty. That crit, that crit just did too much damage. I'm going to drop a guy, so I'm going to change up this weather. Chip up some damage on him, and maybe Leech Life can KO after this, right? Yeah, Leech Life should be able to KO. That's huge. The Bus is going to go next. He's going to, A, pick up the KO, and B, get some HP back. So that's just huge. I think that just solidified the battle, right? Leech Life coming in. My boy Buzz Small. My boy Buzz Small came to play. He's going to get that HP recovery, go back up the green, and more importantly, he's going to get that lovely Beast Boost. A lovely Beast Boost. Now, it's his choice to who he wants to take out. And I actually don't think he can take out either, because my Buzz is a soul bested. And that bus will gonna get that attack boost. He's coming in hot next turn. He's gonna go for a heal pulse. Psh, trying to heal up his Calvex. That's GG's. The battle number one curse is over. Your boy's gonna win a battle number one. That's absolutely amazing. We love it. We love it. We just played this battle too perfectly. Too perfectly, to be honest with you guys. Too perfectly. Considering we uh we brought that Blaziken, made the hard read of the trick room. Blaziken ran out there. We grab ourselves that win. Let's go back to back here, ladies and gentlemen. We're going up against a Ho-Oh and Kyogre team in battle number two. Also, rocking it well with Raichu, Kartana, Incineroar, and Swift Swim Ludicolo, who he might lead that rain combo. The rain combo might be an instant lead, run, which could be tough for us. Which definitely could be tough. So I'm trying to figure out like ways I can kind of counter up and get after this battle. Palkia is definitely a great Pokemon to counter up the uh, weather. Because, you know, he's four times resistant to the water. So might want to lead him. Might want to lead him. He is looking good in this position. So I'm going to lead the Palkia. I'm going to get rolling with that. I kind of want to lead the Grimmsnarl just for screens and fake outs. I just think that works wonders. So we're going to go Grimmsnarl, Palkia. And then in the back end, definitely want to bring you about that. And then last but not least, I'm leaning towards Landers. A lot of good Intimidates we can use. We do have Choice Scarf, so we got to watch out for that ho in the back end. As you know, he can dodge all those uh, all those moves. But we do have a Rock move, don't we? We do have a Rock move. We do have Rock Tomb, which is going to be four times super. Bad. So I'm going to bring Lando. I'm going to say, screw the fighting types. Buzzsaw and Blaziken, we're not bringing either of them. Right? Sound good? Looking good. Actually, dude, Blaziken could be nice. Blaziken could be nice. With that Sash as well? Kind of leaning towards him. But nah, 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 nah. We're going to stick with our guts. We're going to stick with our guts. We're going to stick with our guts here. We're going to bring in Lando. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves someone here in battle number two. But I think Blaziken might have been the call. As I was looking at it, I was just placing close combat that Incineroar. He could uh, flare blitz onto that Kartana, but the rain just it's just it's just too much sometimes. The rain is just what I'm focusing on. And I feel like if uh, we don't get rid of rain, we're gonna have a huge problem. We're just gonna lose battles. So I'd rather bring in Lando. I'd rather bring in Lando for that back end. Back end support. Then I believe Ho oh and Ogre. A little confused with this. Not too much. I could set up an easy light stream. Or I could fake out turn one. I could fake out there. I think we Dynamax, right? We Dynamax? Dynamax Geyser is looking good. And I think a Light Chain is going to be a better play because he might. He might uh, Dynamax Ogre. So I think Light Chain is going to be your play more importantly than anything, right? Because with the Light Chain out, I feel like Grimstar can eat up the Spout. We'll see. We'll see what he wants to do here. Shall see. I don't want to go for a fake out and just have him uh and just have him Dynamax and just waste a turn like that. I'd rather just just solidify this Elytrine. He's gonna withdraw you and who's he gonna go into from here? Maybe Ludicolo? Let's do Cartano. Okay, so Cartano's gonna be able to soak this up. We are gonna be able to set up a late screen here. And yeah, fake out could have been the call, but it's just like I had to go into this uh I had to post a start on the We could swap him. That's fine. We'll chip up. This will still do a decent amount of damage on the Cartano. Even though it's gonna be not very effective and he resists it. I just feel like we, it's just going to be a decent amount of damage. So I can do this. I can set up a light screen this turn. Like I said, I think Grimstrong should uh, be able to soak with this light screen out. And we should be fine from there. And then we can set up a reflect next turn. Because if I get off a reflect and a light screen, that'd be, we can work wonders. We can get, we can get grooving with that. So we're just going to go for a water spout, Grimmy. I need you eating. Love you, Grimmy. The, that, was, that was a solid play for me all day. So solid play for me. I'm going to go for the geyser. I'm going to chip up some damage here. How much damage are we really going to do? More than half? Oh, 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 oh! We love it. We love it. This thing's not even Sash. Wow. This thing's not even Sash. From here, I'm going for a warm one, obviously. I'm just going to set up a reflect. Wow, dude. Wow. Love it. We love that damage. 
Of course we put them on exactly one. Like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> we put them on exactly one. Get out my face with that. Get out my face with that. That's ridiculous. We put them on exactly one. That's actually kind of funny. Kind of whack, though. He gets a free focus, Ash. What you mean? What do you mean? He's going to go for a water spout now. He's going to take out Grimstar all day. That's totally fine. So Grimstar is going to drop out. He set up the screen, so. Our time is going to go next with the Leaf Blade. We're able to soak. Thank you, Mr. Reflect. And then we're going to poke out here with the one. Okay, so from here... From here, I'm kind of leaning towards just going into straight Yabelti. Because belt is going to be nice just to be able to sucker punch that, uh... That, what's it called? Who do I sucker punch up onto? Who would be the Pokemon to sucker punch onto? I can just go into Lando. Choice into an EQ. You do have Telepathy. No, we're going to save Orlando because he's choice. I think I'm definitely going to need him to do some work on today. Hello. I'm going to get your belt here. And I'm going to Sucker Punch and, and Max Quake, but I'm trying to decide on who I should go after. I feel like Kyogre can just do more damage all around, you know? I feel like, yeah, I just feel like Kyogre's doing more damage all around. I'm going to go for the Quake, and I'm just going to get Sucker Punch on the Kyogre. All right, Cartana's not going to do too much. What's, what's your problem? Steel move, grass move, uh, maybe a fighting move. I think we're fine. I think we're chilling. With this. I'm gonna poke a sucker punch here. He's gonna withdraw the ogre. God dang it. Buttery biscuit. And he's gonna roll out into. Uh oh, maybe? I'm gonna roll into Incineroar. That's fine. Incineroar's gonna come out here with Intimidate. Uh, we have uh, some special attack moves, which isn't too bad. Isn't too shabby. And sucker punch is gonna fly. It's gonna get fail. And Leaf Blade's gonna fly. The Leaf Blade comes out here. That's if we were quaking onto. If we did that the opposite way, oh my lord. That could have been gorgeous. That could have been gorgeous. Because then we could have gotten off a of Quake onto the uh, Incineroar. And we could have taken out Cartana. That would have been gorgeous. We're going to do that. He has ho in the back end. Who I do think he brings out in Dynamax. I think he is going to bring it out in Dynamax. Yeah, we still have the, the screens out here. Good double protect. I think I might have to protect the Palkia this turn. Or I can hard swap into... The Lando. Just for a solid in three. See, see, I definitely, I can't. Uh, I'm gonna have to swap here. I think it's gonna work on So I'm gonna, I'm gonna intimidate here, and I'm just gonna oblivion. I think I just have to chip up some damage, right? Start teeing off onto the sensor more. But yeah, I got a hard swap here. I got a hard swap. They're both physical attackers. Take an intimidate, have Palky in the back end. I really do like that. I do do with that because Palky should be fine one v one in Kyogre. Like, what's he gonna do? Drop a thunder on me? I think Palkia should be able to soak up a thunder. But, like, at that point, any water move, Palkia's gonna be able to resist four times. It's just working wonders. It is just working wonders. So, we'll see. Let's see what he wants to do here. I do believe he's gonna fake out the Palkia slot, which isn't too bad. As long as my Lando can survive a turn, that could be great. But the Intimidate's just ridiculously big. It's just ridiculously big on two physical attackers. So, this little swap for me, I'll take it all day. I just need my lander surviving because we can get off a nice lovely rock tomb. And here comes the Dynamax. Like I said, he's going to Dynamax to Ho-Oh. It's his last little effort here because he's not going to Dynamax to Insular. No shot. And he's not going to Dynamax that Kyogre with on, on like 5 HP. So, ho -Oh is going to get the Dynamax. It isn't a rain, so like if he wants to go for a fire move to change up weather, it's fine by me. It's not going to do a lot of damage. But I, I do believe he's going to go for an airstream and kind of walk in there. But at that point, I think Lando still might outspeed it. It'd be wonderful. The fake out's gonna poke here. Yeah, into the Palky slot. He does, yeah. So I saw that coming all day. He's probably gonna go for an airstream. Yep, and my boy should be able to soak this up, right? Lando, you got this. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So solid first turn. Or not solid first turn. Solid turn for us with that swap. He's gonna take a little bit of speed, but again, that's fine. Fine. I'm gonna slow down the hoe after this. But I do wonder what item the hoe is wrong. It's gonna be this policy. Leads me to like not want to do anything to it. Yo, know, Oblivion Wing's doing some nice damage. Dig it. Dig the Oblivion Wing here. But obviously, I can go into the EQ. EQ is free. Or I can go into the Rock Team, which I'm leaning towards the Rock Team because it's four times super effective. It's going to be four times super effective. So I'm going to drop it onto the Ho-Oh. We are going to take that speed drop here as well for him just to slow him down. And we're just hoping it's not policy, but it might be policy. It might be weak, this policy, which could could be scary. But at that point, I don't know. Let's see. Rock Team's going to fire. Look at that. Look at that. Four times super effective. That's some ridiculous thing. We're going to get the speed drop and no policy. No policy, right? Oh, God. Come on, man. I hate this game. I knew it was policy, too. I knew it. I was just like, dude, what, item, what other item is he going to be? It's not orb. He's going to go for airstream. Can we soak this up? <sighs> rough, dude. That's rough. 
That is rough. That is rough. That is rough. No bueno. No bueno. No bueno whatsoever. Uh, what do I do from here? He's gonna party shot out. We're gonna be able to take out Ogre here. So we're gonna drop Kyogre. That's fine. We're gonna drop Kyogre. He's gonna come back in here and be able to drop a fake. Very, very scary. Very, very scary. Very, very scary. He brings out Ogre. We're gonna say bye bye to him. And he's gonna be able to bring back out and send more for another fake out chance. So I cannot, I cannot protect my Palkia. So Oblivion Wing takes him out. This is, this is a good close battle. A close, close battle. Close, close battle number two. Yo, that ho oh, oh with that weakest policy. It's also good to shop an EQ. EQ could have been a solid play. If we didn't pop policy, Lando would have been able to eat up another airship. Which is good, but. Mm. It's a play here. It's a play here. That cannot protect Palkia. I think we just double down into the ho oh, oh. I think we just double down into that, that ho oh, oh, right? Definitely gonna go uh go for my Palkia. Fake out. I think we have to double down on the Ho-Oh. Get off as much damage as we possibly can. Flare is like viable now. Oh this is ugly. We gotta go for this hydro pump. And we have to go for the blue. Gotta chip up some damage onto this dude. Gotta get after it. Because I don't have protect on Palkia. I don't have it. If I did, I would double protect here because we know fake out's a huge thing. Or I would I could have tried popping a trick room, but eh. If I pop a trick room, then Incineroar's fast as it. It doesn't do me any good. It doesn't do me any good. Rough, rough, rough. We do still have screens up. We do still have screens. Let's see what he does. He's definitely going to fake out, right? Fake out coming in hot. He's going to fake out the Palkia. Fakes out my Palkia. He's going to go for a flare. That's got to be going after you. Belty. Belty, you should be able to soak that. Love you. I love you. That's solid for us. That's solid. That is solid. That is solid. The Oblivion Ring's gonna fly. We're gonna chip up some damage here, and more importantly, get some HP. And what do we do from here? What do we do from here? It's tough, dude. This is tough, dude. I hate this game. I hate this game. All right, uh, oh, God. God, uh, Spatial Rend? Yeah, we're gonna go Spatial Rend into Oblivion Ring. Oh, God, this is close. This is too close. Let's see what he does. As long as he doesn't protect the Ho Oh. Protecting the Ho-Ho would be GG's here. But I don't, I don't think he has a Moxie to do. Nah, he's gonna go for a Brave Bird. Who are you going after? Let's see how we going after Palkia, right? Palkia, can you soak? Oh, Palkia, I need you there. I need you there, Palkia. Okay, so we still have a chance here. I'm not even gonna lie. What if could do a decent amount of damage, but we do outspeed and we can Oblivion Wing. Because Oblivion Wing's gonna KO here, right? And we get HP back, which is... What if is definitely scary. But again, we have Reflect out. How much damage is he really doing? How much damage is he really gonna do? Leave me alone, Incineroar. Go for something else. Flare butts. Ooh. In the heat. Can we soak? Please soak. Soak it. We soak. Recoil damage. No berry. No berry. No berry. Oh, God. I hate this game. I hate this game. Okay. Uh, We need a crit, right? Do we need a crit? I think we need a crit. It's our only way. Our only way of winning this is if we get a crit here. How many turns left in drought? Probably like three. Yeah. Oh, oh God. The Oblivion Wing's gonna have to come out here. We need a crit. We need we need something big. We need something big. Battle number two does not look good for us now. Oblivion Wing coming in hot. Then the Sinora swap was gorgeous. We get some HP back. We need him to miss. And I don't even think he can miss a Flare Blitz, but that's gonna be GG's, right? Look at that Life Orb damage. Bring me right back down. That's rough news. Flare Blitz can come out here, and that is gonna be GG's. What a solid second battle. Great battle all around. I think our, our flaw there was popping the weakness policy on a ho. -Oh. We probably should have just went into an EQ, taken out Incineroar, and rolled out from there. So if we didn't pop policy, he probably wouldn't have had a chance. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We got to grab ourselves a winning record here. We're going up against a Xerneas and Solgaleo team. Definitely looking scary. Definitely got to bring in my boy Yavelta just to counter up on that Solgaleo. But uh, how should we go into this one? That Xerneas is definitely scary. The Solgaleo is scary. Yavelta is definitely a great call. But do I lead it? I don't know if I lead it because if Xerneas is coming in hot... Xerneas could be scary. If we go into Grimmsnarl, I mean, Grimmsnarl's not too bad. There's a few fake out mods, which is kind of kind of tough. I'm thinking of going into Grimmsnarl and maybe Yvelta turn one. I'm just seeing how that could play out, bringing Palkia in the back end, and then last but not least, Lazy? Lazy Blaze? I do like Lazy Blaze. Let's run it. Let's run it. But yo, dude, that's Xerneas. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I think that might, that might run us. I don't know. I don't know. That's looking tough. 
That is looking real tough. But yeah, we're one and one. I would love to grab myself some winning record here. But it's looking real tough. I feel like this team is like... I feel like this team is just not like built to take out Xerneas. Xerneas, I feel like it's going to set up here and just roll my team. But we're going to hope that maybe he doesn't lead it. She. She doesn't lead it. And it goes into... Cool. All right. Xerneas has no leadius. A fake out Mon and he might... Might Dynamax, uh, what's it called? Might Dynamax Reggie here. Reggie could be a problem. Hmm. I wish I had Lando at this point. Then I could hard swap into Lando, but it's all good. Should protect. Protect you. She might get the Dyna here. It's not. It's not Dyna. We're not even gonna fake out. Now you're gonna figure out. Hopefully, my shot's picking up my Yvelta. He's gonna figure out Grimstar. That's a tough turn for us. Is he going for E Web? Thunderbolt. Okay. And at this point, I feel like if he wants to go for a Thunderbolt, we can eat it up through the light screen and then just Oblivion Wing and bring this thing out of stash. Kind of like that. Unless he's doubling down on my, uh, my Grimstar. He's gonna ally switch. Okay. Kind of fine with that. I don't, I don't mind it. I don't mind it because again, I think we should be able to eat up this Thunderbolt. I think we should be able to eat up this Thunderbolt. Just don't paralyze me, man. Because if it Grimstrong. All right. It's better for me. <laughs> it's better for me. Take it all day. We'll believe anyway. We'll deal some damage now. If you want to ally switch, you can ally switch. It's totally fine. Maybe you thought I was swapping something along those lines, but now I'm just setting up a reflect. Look at the screens up all day. The screens are out and about. I don't want to take out you now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna target down this Reggie. I'd rather have this Reggie dead than the Mashal. Reggie's quite annoying. So I'd rather take out the Regilecki. See what he does. Reflect coming out and about. We have, we have both screens up. And what's he gonna go? What's he rolling out into now? Thunderbolts can come in here. He's gotta go after you about that at this point, right? Yeah. About the eats. Wow. Wow. That did that did too much damage. Close combat comes in here. He takes that Grimstone all. That's fine. We'll take out Regilecki. I kind of dig that. I kind of dig that. Kind of cool with that. So Regilecki's gonna go out here. We have screens out and about. I could protect you about the next turn. I'm, I think I'm gonna need it to deal some damage on the Solgaleo. But my shell's looking like a little bit of a problem. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. If I can get off on the Bullet Wing while my shell, that could be a gorgeous turn. But I don't know if we can do that. I don't know if we can do that. Do I bring out the real question is do I bring out Palkia or do I bring out Boyskin? Because I could bring out Boyskin and Dynamax and Airstream because I know my boy should be faster than my shell, right? Is he faster than my shell? Probably not up until we get a speed boost here. Hmm. That's why Pike, because he's I think he brings out Solgaleo here. I could bring out Palkia. Ah, this is tough. This is real tough. I don't know what I want to do. I think I'm just going to swap Palkia. Maybe Dynamax here. This is real tough. That ally switch really. It was a good play, but. Time to, oh god, he's gonna go into this thing. Oh god. Oh god, not this thing. Okay. I'm gonna have to Dynamax. We're gonna have to rip up after us. You're going to have to get after us. Dynamax, set the geyser, deal some damage on this thing. I could go for the Oblivion Wing, but I, I kind of want to protect. At the same time, I don't want to protect. At the same time, I do want to protect. But nah, we're just gonna go for, go for Oblivion Wing. He's gonna Dynamax or anything? He might. He might just straight up Dynamax or anything. And he's not going to. He might set up a Geomancer, or he might just would probably be the play. Like I said, yo, Xerneas is just such a problem for us. It's such a problem. It is such a problem. I do not like it. I don't like it one bit. Not not one bit. Not one bit. I told you guys from the beginning that this battle was going to be tough. This has Pokemon that really do me dirty. This is Xerneas. What's Xerneas going for? He's going to go for a close combat here. And we dead. God dang, yo. My shell's doing work. My shell's doing work. His defense is low, but he still has Focus Ash. He's still a Sash. How much damage are we going to do with this, uh... Oh, he's going to go for Moonblast. Oh, God. Leave me alone! How much damage are we going to do with this Geyser? Of course... Yo! Of course he gets a special attack drop. Of course! Wow, dude. Rough RNG. Rough RNG there. Geyser's going to fly out here. Be able to soak pretty well. Oh, uh, we could go for another Geyser. It's tough. This is tough. Tough place. Tough, 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 tough place. Um, we're going to go into here. <laughs> I'm gonna do. 
I do want to take out Xerneas, but at the same time, it's just like, I think I have to protect my boy. I think I'm going to Geyser again. And just protect or detect. So I can't I can't allow like a Dazzling Gleam to come through here and deal some damage and take off my Focus Ash as well. But yo, dude, this my shot, I think we left it in the battle a little too long. That ally switch was definitely clutch. That ally switch was lovely. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We have another losing record on our hands today. Oh, what's going on with jeans, man? Oh, what's going on with me? I definitely have to make it up in a in another video. But for new seasons, I always use like some uh, different teams. I feel like if I was using meta teams, I can definitely like steamroll. But it's always fun when a new season comes out to just like roll out with uh, some fun new Pokemon. Like we're using a Buzzball team. Boyskin's not too good, but it's a lot of fun. I do like using these. Pokemon. But he's gonna end up behind a Max turn. and this could be good for us. This could be good, it could be bad. We have to be, we need our Palkia to uh, eat up a shot. That's what That's the only way. We need Palkia to like, eat up a shot. I'm gonna just detect. If Palkia can eat up a shot and take out Xerneas, that could be the play. But he's gonna double down. Good Palkia, aren't you? My Palkia alone. Just double down on Palkia. Didn't he? Starfall's coming in here. Go ahead for Blaziken. Or eat this up, Palkia. No way. He's up, right? GG's. G to the G's, man. I'm just going to have to run this battle. Like I said, Xerneas was just a huge problem, but that was an awesome read by our opponent right there. Great read by our opponent. He ends up doubling down to Palkia, getting rid of that guy. I don't know if he read the protect, but doubling down to Palkia was definitely the right call. Just get rid of that Pokemon while it's Dynamax. Blaziken's not really going to do too much in the rain. That guy knew it. That guy that guy knew what's up, but yo, my shout definitely ripping. Definitely doing some work. We should have taken out 10 times ago. 10 turns ago. We should have taken it out, but I'm going to run this battle. We're going to go one and two for today's video. Not too bad. One last huge shout out to my boy Joshua for leaving his team in my Twitter DMs. I absolutely love it. We were able to grab ourselves a win and have two close battles that we ended up losing. But yo, we got to show off Buzzful and Blaziken, two very cool Pokemon that you don't get to see too much on the rank ladder. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.